words of Brooklyn Williams, we're going to get a car! car is automatic it's systematic it's hydromatic why it's grease lightning it's grease lightning it's grease lightning so the story behind this thing i wasn't anywhere near ready to get anything but this year i had planned to get something and um this thing came along at the wrong time and um i couldn't really pass it up so it's a 1946 Ford two-door sedan, super deluxe. Um, originally was the Flathead 6. There's the six-cylinder emblem. Um, I haven't decided which way I'm going to go yet with it as far as running gear goes. I've got a good um, sidey I can chuck straight in, um, which would be pretty easy. I've got all the brake bits and pieces to get all the brakes working. I've got the whole lot. But I'm thinking about stepping it up in the horsepower department. I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do, so there's no rush. Um, this is way premature as far as getting a project. And uh, I didn't even think I was going to get it today. I thought I'd be getting this in maybe a few more weeks. And I got the opportunity to pick it up this morning, and I went and got it. So originally this car was like a dark, sort of grey, bluey green colour. And then it was painted grey at some point in its life and then somebody decided they'd practice their pinstriping on just about every panel which is really unfortunate um, that center one isn't too bad but it's just out of control there's pinstriping everywhere um, I don't plan to keep it this color it's going to get sanded back it's definitely going to be black 100% black black wheels black everything so yeah a little bit of work but is really dry. I came from Phoenix, Arizona about 12 years ago. My mate brought it over and um, due to a few bits and pieces he's not able to um, complete it or do anything with it. It's just sat in your shed for 12 years pretty much. Came with a heap of stuff. I haven't um, even gone through it. I don't even know what's here to be honest. I've got no idea but it comes with, there's little bits of rust here and there in it which isn't too bad. It's a very dry car. It comes from uh, the desert. But the boot is chock-a-block full of new and old bits and pieces um, I don't know what's there honestly I don't know what's there and in the front here it has two more boxes um, of I don't know I know it's got a parallel rear spring kit in one of the boxes but I don't know what's in the other box and like I said I haven't been through any of it yet but she's very complete She's dry and the trim's gone, but the frames are all here, which is great. Um, it's got the nice dash in it. The beautiful thing about these, they came out in two colours. So there was the bone, which this one would have been, and then the chrome. You can buy that stuff brand new. So I'll definitely be making it the chrome um, style, which you can buy. But she's got the clock, original radio. Down here, I can see it. 
It's got an original heater, which is pretty cool. Fully optioned. It's um, column change, but everything's there. Like all the fancy little lights and trim and whatever roof linings falling out of it. We'll have to replace that. Very complete. Yeah. Doesn't have any running gear at all. So that's the, the question, what am I going to do? But it's so clean, it's so dry, it's amazing. I honestly don't know when I'm going to be able to get to it. But it was just one of them cars that came up and I had to have it. I've loved the 46 Ford ever since I was a kid. Just to have a model car, have a 46 Ford and I was like, yeah, I've always wanted one of those. I had a pickup, which will put a 46 Ford front clip. And this year I wanted to get a car that replaced my 46 Pontiac and my Chevy, my 59 Chevy. I've missed having a, um, a big American car. And this year was the year that I was going to replace that. And I had to sell my left lung to buy this. I was in the right place at the right time. I knew I was interested in it, always have been. It was one of them cars you was never going to sell. And... Um, I was fortunate enough to be having a conversation about a car I was looking at in America at the time and he told me he wanted to get rid of this so I cancelled all plans and um, went into this thing a little bit deeper than I needed or wanted to or could afford but definitely long term investment um, I think I've done pretty good so yeah watch this space let's have a seat I'm pretty excited I'm pretty pumped it's one of them sort of cars that I thought I'd never be able to afford. I mean, I can't afford it to be honest, but I managed to do it. And uh, I didn't get into go into any debt either, which is the, the best part. I just juggled some stuff and got rid of some stuff that I didn't need anymore. So this is the sidey that I have been mucking around with. Because um, initially I was going to put this in the 46 Tudor. Um, just been trying to get the heads off. Got a couple of stuck valves, free them up. New head gaskets, bit of a decoke. She's a wartime um, 24 stud, 221 originally, it's been bought out, so it's about a 229 I measured. Um, it'll be alright if I want to go the sidey, and although I did uh, tap into a few of my projects to get that Tudor, I still have plenty of projects, don't worry about that. Um, not much has been affected to be honest, just a lot of stuff that I didn't need, so yeah. But I did tell myself that I wasn't going to buy another project. I was going to buy myself a runner, but I can't afford it. The sort of cars I like, I've got to get them cheap, and I've got to get them as a project. So we'll see. See what happens. Let's get um, let's get Doris finished, hey? Get some fenders on there, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it rolls. And um, we'll start doing some cruising in her, and we'll think about this girl. We'll just sit on this for a while and um, we'll work out what we're going to do. So anyway, that's my new beast. What do you reckon? Anyway, that's it for me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Not a lot of content lately, and uh, there's not much I can do about that, but yeah, just give you an update of my exciting new toy. Take it easy, see ya. Shut up and chrome painted sides, oh yeah. Keep talking, whoa, keep talking.